Hi friends. I imagine that a lot of you are familiar with this book. This book is The Runaway Bunny by Margaret Wise Brown. And this is a classic children's book. It was first published in the year 1942, which means that um, a lot of you young people have had this read to you by adults in your lives. But also a lot of the adults out there may have had this read to them when they were a child. And this may be a book that they shared with their children or other young people in their lives. I'm going to read just the first part of this book to remind you of the story that is within. The Runaway Bunny Once there was a little bunny who wanted to run away. So he said to his mother, I am running away. If you run away, said his mother, I will run after you, for you are my little bunny. If you run after me, said the little bunny, I will become a fish in a trout stream, and I will swim away from you. If you become a fish in a trout stream, said his mother, I will become a fisherman, and I will fish for you. Here's the illustration that shows the little bunny in the stream as the fish and the mother bunny as the fisherman. The story goes on and the little bunny says that he'll become a rock high up on a mountain. And the mother bunny says that she'll become a mountain climber and she will climb to where her little bunny is. And the bunny says that he'll become a flower in a hidden garden. And the mother bunny says that she'll become a gardener and she will find and take care of her little flower. And the book continues with this beautiful imagery of the little bunny um, saying that he is going to go to different places, become different things. Um, and that no matter what he does and where he goes, that the mother bunny will find him, will take care of him, will be a safe place for him to rest. Now this book is traditionally seen as um, a book that is about um, a mother's love for her child. Now I want to uh, challenge us to think a little bit differently about this book. You see today Pastor Jill is going to talk about where is God? And I know that um, that we say a lot that God is always with us, right? But what does that mean that God is always with us? So I want us to challenge ourselves to think about this Runaway Bunny book as being kind of the way that people's relationship with God works, right? So people, us, we're all little bunnies. And God is like the mother bunny. And no matter where we go, no matter what we do, no matter what we become, that God will always find us. That God will always be there to comfort us and to care for us. That God will be with us as a safe place for us to land. Let's pray together. Loving God, we thank you that you are always with us every moment, all the time, even when we feel like we're all alone, you are there. God, help us to know that you are with us no matter what, no matter where we go, no matter what we do, no matter who we become, that you are always there. You are there to help us feel safe and you are there to take care of us. God, we ask that, that you help us to recognize all the different ways that you show up in our lives and in lives of other people all over the world. God, also help us to show up in the lives of other people and to be for them a loving presence. 
We pray all this in the name of Jesus. Amen.